Good afternoon or morning. Uh, my name is Mike Ayers. I am the uh, member of the committee that oversees this uh, Quaker Meeting House. Uh, the Meeting House was built in, uh, in two stages. The first one in 1756 and the second half was added in 1784. This is the uh, third oldest Quaker meeting in New Jersey. It was uh, started in uh, 1679, uh, started by meeting in members' homes, and uh, then they built a meeting house on the north side of Alloway's Creek, about uh, half a mile north of the Hancock House. And members came by boat and, or horse and buggy, and it took, at some point it became very difficult to get across to Alloway's Creek, so they built another meeting house on the south side of the creek. And at some point they decided that people who were on the north side would become members of Salem Meeting, and people on the south side would become members of Greenwich Meeting. Uh, at that point, uh, Greenwich Meeting and Alloway's Creek Meeting would, sh would alternate uh, locations, so they needed to add an, an addition to this uh, to the original side of the house. The land was deeded to the Quakers by William Hancock, who was a builder of the Hancock House. So they built the, as I say, they built the first half and uh, worshiped here uh, until 1784 when they added the addition. This is uh, still a good example of a uh, 18th century uh, Quaker meeting house. There are partitions that divide uh, the meeting house in half. Partitions were for uh, when Quakers attend to business, uh, usually once a month. The men would meet on one side and the women would meet on the other side. And the partitions were raised to separate them, uh, not because of, you know, they, they dealt with different kinds of issues, uh, membership. And the the uh, women were concerned with membership and the care of, of members and that sort of thing. The men were probably concerned with uh, you know, the physical uh, plant and so forth. There's also a, uh, in this side, is a saddle door. The saddle door was used when uh, men and women came to meeting on horseback. Usually the women rode side saddle and they'd bring the horse up to the saddle door and the uh, women would step off the horse on right into the meeting house. We added a balcony that wraps around the upstairs and that was for uh, additional people to sit, you know, when it got really crowded. Um, the stoves that are here are uh, New Jersey bog iron stoves and were used to heat during the winter time. Uh, today this Quaker meeting house is used uh, occasionally. We, we use it in the summertime and for uh, meeting for worship and a, uh, and a picnic in August. We have a, a good time doing that. The, this meeting house is, uh, is old. It needs some tender loving care. We've just completed a preservation plan by a preservation architect that can give us a good idea of what's, what's working and what's not working. And we've got a plan to, to move forward on that. If people want to have more information about uh, the Alloway's Creek Meeting House, there is a website called salemquarter.net and there are links on that page to the Alloway's Creek Meeting House and photographs and uh, stories about what that is about.